Chef Pennington here. Today we're going to be talking about trussing meat for the perfect roast and how to tie a butcher's knot. On the way to trussing for a perfect roast, we need to start by tying a butcher's knot. This is something you guys have been doing your entire life, been tying your shoes, except with a small little addition here. And what's cool about this knot is you'll be able to use it on lots of other things in life, which is cool. And who knew that uh, tying a, a knot like this was this easy. So here we go. Regular start of like tying your shoes, we went under and over. And we're going to do it two, three, four more times, depending on the knot you guys are trying to tie. So then we're just going to pull it taunt. And the cool thing is, boom, it's going to stay tight for you without having to pull the extra knot in there. Now we're going to do an extra knot because it's good measure and it just gives us good peace of mind. And that's how it's done in the professional kitchen. You can tie any knot you guys like there, whatever holds. And now on to the trussing. This could not be easier. Might look a little more complicated than it is, but we're creating loops. So I'm going back, under, back and under. And here comes the key is we're gonna take this circle we've created and we're gonna place it on top of the roast. Don't flip it over on top of itself or once you try to pull it tight, it's just gonna come undone. There'll be nothing there, there'll be no loop any longer. And you can put these loops anywhere you like up and down the meat and make it look as great and as pretty as you want or as functional in this case I'm going to be braising this piece of meat so it looking super perf you know, perfect and pretty isn't as important the idea is that I'm going to get even cooking while I braise it and then afterwards I can take it out and put it on a serving platter and put it on the table for people to ooh and ah on if it was a regular braised piece of meat and we did it right it's just going to fall apart so try that sometimes when you guys next time you do a crock, you know, pot roast Try this, I think you guys will be really pleased. And here's something cool for you. On the link below, on the website, I've also got a video from a master chef from Le Cordon Bleu, where he shows you how to do trussing, but a beautifully perfect trussed beef tenderloin. You guys gotta check it out. The guy just, I mean, he's a master for a reason. And if you're gonna do a beef tenderloin, that's not a cheap cut of meat. So the presentation really helps. Take a look guys, we've got a, a piece of meat that wasn't very shapely and we made it look like something, something nice. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up there below. Check us out on Facebook and Pinterest and you guys have a wonderful week. Take care.